Welcome to Season 7, Episode 9. This place takes place in Dead Ham, Maine. This place is called the Lucerne Inn. With a lovely scenery in the background. Intro. Why would we continue to investigate ghost places? We are curious. We had explored America's most haunted places now. In the dark and cannot see. What happens to us could capture all guys that want to do the similar job that us three are doing. To be locked inside scary places. To become a scary moment. With my friends Brady and Alex that will be with me in these places. To the dusk rise of the sun. When later on we want the answers. To why these places are full of terror. This is our evidence. Of investigating ghosts. Which is now known as ghost search. Welcome to Ghost Search. In the Lucern Inn. We stayed in this inn here. Well, for tonight, we will be locked in this here new inn. Almost another whole town possible, but not really. That is our last episode for this season. Another hotel is our last episode. So welcome to Maine. In a town called Deadham. To the Lucern Inn. What a place. With mountains, man. I just love the scenery. Nice destination. And what a great call to investigate, man. Thank you, sir. Because it is definitely a lovely location. Now let us get busy to see what is this place all about. The Lucerne Inn is a historic hotel and restaurant at here. 2517 Main Road, United States Route 1A, here in Dedham, Maine. Its main house built in 1818. And repeatedly enlarged and re renovated. The Lucerne Inn has served travelers for nearly 200 years. Yes, this is the destination of this place, alright. And so ghost hunters came here and had some activity here. Of course! Brady yells it out. Now I am just here to kick things off with the entrance of the history. Wait, huh? What? She will tell you the real history of this place. I'm just the one that will tell you the beginning. Oh, okay then. So right now we have this woman named Shayla that will tell us more here in the inside of the Lucerne Inn. Has anyone had any personal experiences with the Lucerne Inn in Deadham, Maine here? Well, there's a fascina fascinating story of the I in infidelity murder and suicide here. And of course, long-term hauntings too. One of the things that makes this place so special is that the historically famous guest listed is here, including Lincoln's vice president and one-time former Maine governor Hamil Hannibal Hamlin, as well as the Civil War general, also known as the 18th president, Ulysses S. Grant, stayed at the night here in the Lucerne Inn. Wait. What about the 18th president? Louis C. S. Grant himself came here long, long time ago. Of course. Wow. That's a little shocking, huh? 
Now he came here to see what type of place is here. So he decided to stay here for the night because he felt like, oh, this looks like a nice little romantic place for him to stay at. Uh, okay. But so to the uh, rumors of why the Lucern is in is haunted is because if you can go back to a caretaker named Nathan back then, it would appear as though Nathan walked in on his wife and guests of this here in, catching them in a compromising position. He took the news pretty badly, and one thing led to another, leaving his own wife and the guests murdered, and their blood on Sam's hands. Now, the story continues that after Nathan committed the hilarious murders of his two victims in room 8 here in the Lucernin, when he took himself into room 5 and committed suicide. The haunting of the Lucernin has been figured out. The most part to be the intelligence, also known as the presence. Now, the building is un you quite old, and having been built in 1812, and opened for business in 1814. Its location is what made it a main landmark back in those days, because it was one of the only places long-haul travelers could stop for room, food, and the spirits here. No pun intended. Now, between Bangor and cities down east like Machias and Ellsworth is where this romantic, nice, beautiful inn sits. Uh, okay then. And this place is also for yet another wedding place. Doesn't it look like it? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It does. We three are in Maine. Still from the last location. And we decided and said, Hey, we are both tired. Like, well, let me mention to you about the episode of the Barnstable Inn. We decided, like that episode, to stop here. We all agreed to stop here and stay and sleep here for the night so we can refresh ourselves. Because we've done a lot so far in the past. Communicating to the dead, and now we are at this beautiful town. We are looking at a beautiful... Uh, la... Uh, la... Lucerne's bleh. Sorry, the Lucern Inn is haunted here. Wait a second, Mike. How do you say this place, the town? La Lucerne's, La Lucerne's, La Lucerne. Ha! Ah, it is the it is pronounced the Lucern Inn, the Lucercy's Inn. Close the Lucern Inn, Lucernern Inn, Lucern. The Lucerne's Lucerne 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 Oh, okay then. Yeah, a little tough to say though. Well, thank you, interviewers, for trying to help us name this town right. So now, back to work. Why is this place reminds me of the uh, Ashland place for some odd reason? It does? Yeah, man. Oh, I know why. Because of the bar. The bar place, huh? Oh, yes. Back in Massachusetts. So the wedding took place in here that the bride and groom got tugged violently by an unseen force. By someone named a guy in blue. Wait, what? A guy in blue? Yeah. 
He died from poison by food here. The uh, chef did not like this particular guy. So the chef got really mean and jealous or kind of really upset and decided to poison his food. That his spirit lives here when that time when the server has poisoned his food. Is when it all began when his spirit roamed here. They thought that he was a bad man too. My, my. Okay then, well we will be aware for that. So is there more info that happened in this reception-like room? No, nothing else. Okay then. Now last stop is the rooms with the numbers on it. Oh, okay then, awesome. So other people claim that while staying at this here hotel, they have experienced odd happenings in the most haunted rooms. In the inn, room 8. What happened was, one guest claimed that her door kept opening on its own re repeatedly. Despite her ensuring it was closed multiple times, employees of the inn had stated that a piano in this inn can be heard playing on its own when nobody is playing it. All of a sudden, televisions, if you're watching TV, all of a sudden, it turns off, right? No. Television has also turned on on its own, and it'll be nothing but static. Oh, dude. Static TV out of nowhere since we decided to turn it off. Hey, there was a place that we went to that had a location that did that same thing. Remember that, guys? For the first time. Right? Oh, yes, I mean, I know what you're talking about. The uh, time when I decided to watch TV because I was bored and static came on. That place was called the Old Wheatland Plantation. Yes, yes, it was. Cool. So now, it is time to see what can Room 8 do to us, 3, tonight. If this place is haunted, or is it just another boring location? Well, it will not let you guys down. I don't think it will let you guys down, but you guys, you won't be let down easily. Let's do this. Okay, sun is setting and we will see the sun back at 6 a.m. Or sunrise. So let the Lucerne in begin. Walking inside to the restaurant part of this here inn, when a wedding reception was actually part of uh, this here inn that had a restaurant only for the wedding. Alex, what do we have here? Well, this here thermal imaging camera is also going to just be shooting this whole entire time. Filming the dining room to capture what is in here, if anything can be shown on this here thermal camera with different coloring. Okay, EVP recorders are rolling. You the blue man that is infesting this place? Walk, Brady. Can I lie down to see what you can do to me? On the floor? Brady's EVP already captured this frustrated voice. Is this a spirit of a janitor after the reception that is over like? No. Now I need to clean your filth. No. Now I need to clean your filth. Mike, I have the goosebumps. Oh my man, my head too. You, you, you too, huh? Yes, man. Dude, something's going on in here. Who is coming in here? You the men in blue? Just look at the setup, guys. It's awesome. I think it is a little old school like. Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. Ah! 
the thermal imaging camera, look! <laughs> Dining room, when we are communicating to the blue men-like, I guess, for presence of what happened from the wedding reception out of nowhere, long time ago, a man dressed in blue got poisoned by his own food by the chef. Uh, the chef didn't realize that the blue man was actually a bad person, which the chef got really mean and decided to poison his food. Then, the, the man in blue, his ghost, actually haunts every single wedding reception. I don't know why, but that's what happens. Alex, whoa, what are you talking about, thermal image camera? What happened? Uh, guys, come look at this. Whoa! What the hell? I, that was this all about. I think that's what it's all about. Huh? Uh, yeah, I guess so, Alex. I think that's what it's all about. The man in blue just walked by very fast in the camera, the thermal one. Yes, sir. Look at the speed. Look how fast it goes. Like a flash. Watch. Do you see my finger? Did you see it? One more time. Do you see my finger? Did you see it? That's how fast it went. Just like that. Lightning speed fast. Now, uh, is it positive that the man in blue affects this place? After this m excitement, Brady felt a breeze going by him. Then a soft scream close to his ear. That then takes out a needle device, Brady does. When in excitement rushes to the spot that he had felt this sort of activity. Grub! Oh, I know you're down here. Come on. Was that you that showed me a sign? Come on. I know that you are here. I am so not afraid of you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? My camera just got static on the screen filming you, Brady. Then, something just moved away from it, very quick, like a weird black light that did not make the uh, camera static later. The camera went back to normal after this weird figure walked away from it. It's really weird. Uh, really then? Okay then. Well, the man in blue, he is coming to us, guys. I guess so. And at that moment, Brady gets a spike on the uh, temperature device. Whoa, a 15 spike, man. Oh, no. After the dining room, the three leaves, actually, and heads to room A, leaving behind the camera that is now filming the dining room to capture if the man in blue can be captured again. All right, so right now we had decided that we shall be walking to the small, nice room known as room A, the popular room here. To see if anything can come to us. If anything, that haunts this place. So, here is a key to open the door. Yeah. Uh, similar to this, we had the uh, whole town possible one. It's the Stanley Hotel and the St. James Hotel place. Both places, we had actual keys that we had to unlock the certain types of rooms that we want to explore. But we shall not split, because we will all go inside the room together and continue to communicate to any other spirits in the room. Oh, okay then. Ah, and to see if the TV of possession will come to us. You know what I mean? Let's see if the TV can be static. Right now, the three together are in room eight, the popular room. Oh, a slow creak of room eight, man, of the door that we slammed, I slammed shut. I heard it go. The door did. Typical for either old or haunted rooms with the doors creaking that I slammed it like that. Yes, I guess so. Now, any spirits that haunt this here room? Did you die in this room? This might be chill time, man. Too chill in here. Yes, maybe. Like our real 
deal to stay here for the night, not just for ghost investigating, but to chill. Well, a camera is filming the three now, minding their own businesses, all three of them together, until... So, uh, anyways, like the other hotels, when we... <gasps> what was that? What the hell was that? Check the hall. Dude, I think the door just slammed. Oh, of course, Brady. That was not good. But when the three goats in the hall to investigate that... Whatever made that door slam... The camera on the bed in room 8 had captured this. We are ready. We are ready. We are ready. Boom, 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 boom. Hi, Joe. Okay, so 5 a.m. and room 8 is the last stop of the inn. Who slammed one of these here doors? Oh my! Alex! Holy, you scared both of us, man! What's going on? What? What? Come back! Come back to Route 8, man! Oh my, what? What's going on? Oh, dude! TV turned on! Oh, I'm scared again, man! This ain't right! This is not good! Oh, TV turns on! That is not a good thing, man! Oh, I know it's not! Wrapping up of this episode, all of a sudden, the three, actually Brady first, had witnessed a freak out when the TV turned on, on its own, caught by the EVP, with the voice of, We are ready, says a ghost. <laughs> <gasps> Sir, whoever turned this TV on, please shut it off now. Dude, this is freaky. Yeah, I know it is. And so, with Mike screaming, it does. It turns off. <gasps> oh my god, dude, it just turned off! That was... Oh my god, no way, man. Look! It's quiet now! Well, that is a lesson to learn. Not to make anything else paranormal happen in here. Because you know that we just witnessed something. Yeah, I know. Now I sleep now! You know what? Same. Well, if we decided to sleep, uh, one of us has to look out of this here, there, TV so it does not turn on again. Because if it turns on like that, like what happened, then we shall all get nightmares if the TV turns on all of a sudden. Now imagine, you wake up in the middle of the night, in this here room, room 8, and the TV goes on with static. What would you do? I would go nuts. I would probably throw up. And so what happens is this episode ends with the three sleeping in different rooms for one hour. Ha ha. How do you like that, huh? Only one hour of sleep till the sun rises. Huh? Well, the three had investigated this place till 5 a.m. and only has one hour of sleep till 6 a.m. Wonderful, huh? So, my question to you is, who is the one that slept in room 8? Was it me? Was it my friend Brady? Or a acquaintance named Alex? You let us know in the comments below if you're watching this episode. And that is all for the Luke Kern Inn. And P.S., the answer is unknown. Oh, go, 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 go,